Okay, you want to climb up on the sure. scaffolding? We're well, ready to put up our suspended wood ceiling. Now, we haven't done one of these since we did our house with character project uh, a few years ago. Now, the guys that uh, do this system really have it down to a science. Okay, I'm going to get up here just a little okay. bit higher. Basically, all we have to do is measure up our three bays and then get past those measurements along to them, and then they basically cut everything to size. There are a few pieces that we will end up doing in the field here, but uh, there's relatively little cutting. Well, the first thing we did was put this panel molding up. And we put it up near the bottom of the beam with about an inch reveal, and then we matched that height on the other three walls. Now we're putting in these pieces. These are the, the main runners. And you always want the runners to be perpendicular to the roof trusses or the floor joists so that you can screw these eye bolts up into the framing. And then, here, I'll grab that. Thanks. And then the runners can just hang from that. Now these blue lines are the bottom of our trusses. And we aren't installing a bolt in every truss, just every other one as it runs across our space here. So we'll end up with three of these little eyelets in, in our runners. And then each side of the runners, of course, is supported by our panel molding. So being supported in five spots really should, uh, should be just fine. Now the trickiest part to this is getting the runners perfectly straight and level. We uh, considered taking out our fancy rotating laser level to do this, but uh, we discovered with two people that it works pretty good just to eyeball it. How's it look? That looks pretty good right there. Okay. That's and then every once in a while just uh, check it with a string. All right, now I'll get this over here. Okay, I'm, I'm good here. Yeah, I, I think we're fine. Okay, you want to put up that uh, reference line? And I'll start getting ready to hand up cross T's and coffers. Sure. Well, now comes the fun part. With all of our runners up, we should be able to put our panels up in about 15 minutes. Now, these are what they call the cross T's. They have these little locking clips at the end, and these set in between the runners, and they automatically create our spacing for us. Okay, grab onto those. I got them. Open tight, got them. All right. And these are the coffers. We have a plywood back to them. We'll foam rubber on the back so they can stack them. And then oak, cover on the outside to create the outside edge. Then these come in three different depths. We got the deepest ones here because we have a fairly tall ceiling. We just thought this way it would look a little bit more articulated, just see a little bit more detail in it with a deeper, deeper coffer. When you put the, uh, the runners and the cross pieces together, you end up with a little, little flange along the inside that the panels sit into. So now, I'm ready for the first panel. I'll just set that into that little flange like so. Make sure it's sitting in there. That looks good. I'll grab another cross piece. Just slide it up to the panel. Lift the panel up a little bit and get it up in there. There we go. Then I'm just ready for another panel, and I just uh, keep going like that. I might notice that we have a few extra electrical cables hanging around here. That's because we have some, some cans as well as hanging fixtures going up into these panels. Now the idea is, the, the way to work this, have your electrician come out first, run the cables wild, have an idea where they're going so you have enough, enough cable. But once all the panels are in, then the electrician will come back. We'll locate exactly where we want the cans, where we want the pennants coming down, and then you can run the wire over there. We'll cut them into the panels and uh, it just works a lot easier that way. They also sent along these extra long grid pieces so that we could just uh, custom cut these to finish off our grid system up there and get ready for the uh, custom panels. And we're just about done with our coffered ceiling. The last thing we have to do is measure for our custom coffers around the outside and get those ordered. But before we do that, we want to make certain that everything is lined up so it's in a nice perfect straight line going from the front of the house all the way to the back. So we've strung a line from front to back and then using a square, okay Robin, go ahead about a quarter of an inch. Robin is moving these, okay right there, that's good. With kind of a crude instrument there, some cardboard around a 2x4, but it works, works pretty well. Okay, go ahead. Okay right there, that's good. And so once we get all these aligned and get all of the coffers centered in the room, then we know that the panels on either side here will be of the same length. 